These are gemstone kachinas, one of a kind, made all like white Carrara marble, stromatolite, carnelian, black onyx, chrysocolla turquoise, spiny oyster, sterling silver, uh, mother pearl, white Carrara marble from Italy. They're all one of a kind. I'm the only one in the world doing gemstone And, and what is your name, sir? My name is Pedro Jimenez III. And, and where are you from? We'll take a little picture of Pedro's name up here. Blue L Designs. And we'll, Pedro will get a little famous here to get out there on YouTube land, and we'll pan back around. Now, I have a bunch of kachinas myself, but they're from the Hopis. Yes. Up in northern Arizona. I know. They're, and they're uh, this, is a, a, this is kind of what this gentleman has done with the idea that Kachina is now walk on down here and see how beautiful his workmanship is. And that's what caught my eye. And this gentleman's done a great job here. And uh, we gave him a little credit out there. So uh, enjoy, folks. Go. 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 My name is Pedro Jimenez III. And these are all gemstone carved Kachinas, all made of natural stones, highly polished, highly inlaid. How would they get a hold of you, sir? Uh, you can get my my website is blueelk.net and repeat that again, good and loud. Blueelk.net. And that was blueelk.net is his website. That's website, and that's easy enough to remember. Yes. Uh, I'll explain what this is. This is a copper crystal from the Keweenaw County up in Michigan. And Michigan has copper like Arizona does, I take it then, huh? And, and you guys are still mining it just like we're seeing it now, right? Oh yeah. I pulled out a pocket twin crystal about that big, my first piece I ever pulled out. Well, thank you very much. And here we have a beautiful tourmaline crystal and just how it comes out of the earth here. And this came from Minas Gerigas, Brazil, and I probably said that wrong. And we'll pan down here and see if that shows up on the video. And you have this beautiful, beautiful tourmaline crystal here. Here we have some more various crystals, probably from just all over the world. I thought I'd just walk down and show this little quick display of what we have here, these different beautiful gemstones from around the world. And uh, here we go right on down here to the corner. And there we go. And here we go, some more carved stones here. Uh, some type of agate. God only knows where, but everybody needs one of these in their living room. And we'll just pan back around and show us a little exhibit of these stones here. This is a 68-pound piece of turquoise mined in 1979 from the Cananea Silver Mine in Sonora, Mexico, when Phelps Dodge owned the mine. It's in our family since 1985, and we have carved it in 1991 and 92. It took over 14 months to carve it. The man named Modesto carved it, and it was finished 18 years ago. And it's not for sale, and is it? It's worth $275,000. $275,000. And where again was it mined from? Uh, what mine? Phelps Dodge Mine in Sonora, Mexico. Cananea Silver Mine, Sonora, Mexico. On and, the other same mountain range as Arizona, right on the other side of the border. About and the, the whole world knows who Phelps Dodge is, pretty yeah, much. So. Yeah. And, and they were just bought out by somebody, weren't they? Yeah, but in the 80s, they pulled out of Mexico and turned the mines to the government. Gave the mines oh, back okay, to the Mexican so Belong to the Mexican government yeah, now, so it, and they use dynamite uh, to get out the copper, silver, gold. Right. So turquoise being a byproduct, they don't care. About they don't care about just blasting it all apart. So this then is the fourth largest piece of turquoise from North America in existence. It's the, it's the third largest turquoise carving that's been carved, and our family owns all three of them. Cool. Um, we have this year. They're from Wyoming. They're 50 million years old. Can you talk a little louder for me, buddy? I got a yell, huh? Yeah. It's a Diplo stylus, so 50 million years old, uh, southern Wyoming. Uh, we have different kinds. This is a Nydia, the more common fish. Um, these guys all here, they are from Brazil, Santana Formation, 100 million years old. We have the Racoleptus here. They have the normal scale pattern. These big the first have the longer scales. Okay. They're more up and down, so we have them in the pairs. We have a pair of dinosaur eggs from China, Hadrosaur, from the XC. And, and where are you from? 
We are from Thousand Oaks, California. You're from the valley there, then, uh, Thousand yeah, right Oaks. Next um, to the valley. Macomb and is this your partner in business here? Oh, uh, he is fine here. Oh, you're just shot. We just got on YouTube, partner. Yeah, so, uh, you're famous now. Now you're famous. Uh, yeah. Just look up One Martian Business on YouTube and you'll show up. So, uh, thanks, bud. I've been having Can you talk a little louder, dear? Yeah. Start over? Yeah, just keep going. Um, this tortoise is very interesting. This is a dry land tortoise from South Dakota, um, about 40 million years old, and you should come around and look because the animal is preserved in size, which is very rare. And what do we have down here? Some kind of fish, dear? Um, we have insects from Brazil. The very front of the table are trilobites from Morocco. And I see some leaves from Germany. These three fish here are 100 million years old. The species is called Vingtifer. They come from Brazil. And you'll see this is two parts of the same fish. Uh, thank you very much. And uh, this is your lovely daughter over here. No, friend. This is all the fat, just a friend. <laughs> um, Okay, well I'm just going to show these little stones here and we'll go back in this gentleman's booth here. And where are you from, sir? I'm from India, Nasik, Maharashtra, India. India, and, and here's the gentleman that's talking to us right now. We'll walk back in his little display booth here. And uh, you want to explain to people what we have here? Yeah, these are the minerals from Maharashtra, India mostly. And these are the, you know, trap rock. Volcanic trap rock. They are all in a natural form. This you are looking at uh, the blue color cavern site. It is one of the rarest minerals found in one locality only near Pune in the entire world. In the rest of the world, somewhere you find the very micro minerals. So you can't see the, the naked eye. Good. And we're going to pan down and show this gentleman's stuff here once again. And um, all you have to do is go on YouTube and visit One Martian Visits. Tucson Jim a Mineral Show, and you'll be able to see your face in your video. Your Thank stuff. You. Okay, go ahead, give me your name. Uh, my name's Rick Bauer. My name's Rock and Beans. This is a piece of malachite from Congo. Where's it from again? Congo, Africa. From Africa, huh? Uh, and Betty mines this jasper out of eastern Oregon they call Rocky Beans. It's a spear made out of the jasper. And uh, this is a, a petrified palm tree from uh, Indonesia, the island of Java. It's mined by the Donny Headhunter tribe. These are Arkansas quartz crystals. Yeah, I'm familiar with them. They seem to be up here every year. And this round amethyst crystal, where is it from? It's from Brazil. It's a Brazilian, both of them? And this guy right here, this is a, a meteorite from Argentina. From Argentina, you say, huh? And of course, another malachite right here by us. Another malachite from Congo. And some other little agate. Um, these are agatized coral from... Uh, oh, these are agatized coral. Interesting. I have some in a, I made in a... Oh, yeah, you can see the back of the shell shape on it. From Florida. Yeah, from Florida, yeah, and I have some of those myself. It's a piece of peanut wood from Australia. And there we go, folks, some peanut wood from Australia. And anything else interesting here we might want to show, folks? This is the Oregon Sunstone. The Oregon State Gemstone. Oh, okay. I've been mining these for uh, 21 years. I, oh, and you have a mine that you work? Yes. And where's your mine? Oh, in South Central Oregon. South Central Oregon. Thank you very much, sir. And we get one little photo and...